Okay, Earth Signs, it's Nicola. So this is your daily read. This is for Wednesday, November the 27th, 2019. What messages do we have? Stars, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Heaven, and Venus. Hey guys, I y'all know I do these a day ahead of time. Today is the day that I'm doing this is on the 26th. So today and Wednesday the 27th are the last days of my special. My special will end at 11:59 Wednesday, November 27th. So if you guys want to purchase one of those, hop on over to my website, email me, PayPal. Just make sure you have a way that I can contact you. All right, so this is the messages we have. This is for Charlie Capricorn. So I'm gonna have these. Okay. Give me guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me guidance for Taurus. All right, Taurus. We have Goddess of the Sacred Path. It says, let go of logic and trust your intuition. Okay. What messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, Capricorn. We have Angel of Finances. It says, honor and give thanks for the blessings you're about to receive. What messages do we have? For Virgo, Virgo, we have Angel of Addiction Healing. It says this is a time of positive transformation and healing. The underlying message for all of my earth signs is Goddess of Sacred Power. It says you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. All right. So let's see here. What messages do we have? The Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun Rising Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? The Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun Moon Rising and Venus. This is for Wednesday, November the 27th, 2019. The message is guided. The Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun Moon Rising Venus. Wednesday, November the 27th, 2019. The Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Of cups, ooh, la, 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 la. happy, happy, joy, joy. You know what I'm saying? All right, so could be dealing with a Leo, but someone has found the strength to be happy. I like it. We're gonna go with that. Someone has found their inner strength, they want to be happy. Y'all, y'all do not understand. I keep looking in between my teeth, my teeth is forming a gap. Oh, well, I don't care. But when I take pictures, it will like stuff in my teeth. <laughs> so I'll be pissed off. I'll be like, what the fuck? Eh. Anyway. My teeth are fucked up. I don't fucking care. I am who I am. So three of swords here. We have maybe some severance, maybe a heartbreak. This could be a, a, this looks like someone that may have had their heart broken is trying to heal. Okay, but I do feel like there could be a severance. Page of cups here. I feel like someone's following the inspirations within themselves. Could be having some new inspirations. King of swords. Someone's making some decisions. King of swords is Gemini energy. That could be any, um, you could be taking control here. King of Swords, Emperor here. I feel like you're making a decision here. Taking control, really setting boundaries to something. I feel like this is a masculine that is choosing to be happy. King of Wands, got a new focus. Now, there could be two kings here, um, two men here, and someone could be severing a connection and choosing, cutting, a, cutting away a gentleman in their external and choosing to move toward an Aries. That could be a, a thing. Um to be choosing to move toward their flame. A Leo under here as well. Got Aries and Leo here. All right, so let's see what's going on. Because this is uh, interesting. Interesting. Why is the Spirit of Swords here? Why is the Spirit of Swords here? High Priestess. Ooh, ooh. Check out the air sign reading, especially with this air sign right here. Check out the air sign reading. High Priestess here, Spirit of Swords. Someone knows that they're either needing to sever a connection. They know that something may be negative, low vibration. We got uh, with the high priestess cancer and, and Taurus here, we have devil here with Capricorn. So I feel like, but for some of you guys, some of you guys know that you need to sever a connection because it may be low vibration, toxic. Yep, nine pentacles. Some of you guys want to sever a toxic connection. Seven of cups, maybe an option you had. It may have made you happy at one point in time, but I feel like it's becoming um, not so fit. Okay, we don't just say not so good. So, Page of Cups here. Why is this here? Why is this Page of Cups here? We have the Knight of Swords. So, I feel like someone is taking action based off what they feel. Queen of Cups here. Could be dealing with a water sign. Um, this could also be water sign. Queen of Cups is Scorpio, but it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this can also be about um, being nurturing to self. Trusting what you feel with inside. Trusting what you, yeah. 
Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles here. Someone, someone may be angry because of some success that is unfulfilled. Someone could be in their feelings, trusting their in their feelings. King of Swords here. I feel like if there was someone, Page of Wands here, could be moving forward from that. Someone was blocking passion. And that is why the judgment was made. Hmm. King of Swords here. But like for some of you guys, you could be moving away from a toxic connection, going toward your one. Why is this King of Swords here? 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 Ooh, yes. Knight of Pentacles, Universe, Ace of Swords. Someone is ending the responsibility. Someone is speaking. I saw this in the air sign, I mean, the fire sign read, the King of Swords, and I said the King has spoken. Someone is speaking their truth. I feel like there's an end to some responsibilities, an end to maybe someone taking their time. I do feel like Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Someone could be tower. So someone could be in a space of working toward a new commitment. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like it requires them gaining their independence. So Emperor here, why is this Emperor here? I feel like someone has decided to take their power back. I'm going to say that. I definitely feel like that's what's happened. Or I feel like you may be stepping into your power. I definitely can see that because Emperor here, why is this Emperor in the subconscious here? Why is this Emperor in the subconscious here? Emperor here. That's way too many. Maybe y'all got a lot of reasons why y'all taking y'all power back. But somebody is most definitely here. Emperor, King of Wands, somebody is focused on gaining control. Why is this Emperor here? Why is this Emperor here? Why is this Emperor here? So we have Ace of Cups. Yes, so we have one, two, three aces to come out. Death card here with magician. Oh, so someone is taking, yes, someone is taking action. Someone is stepping into their power. Um, potential new opportunity and love here. Scorpio energy here. Virgo, Gemini energy here um, with the Emperor Aries energy. But I feel like, yeah, my cats get the shit out of me. <laughs> I feel like, and this could be sudden as well because, and I don't mean sudden as in tower sudden, like all of a sudden somebody's moving. I feel like this has already someone already knew that they had to like either face their fears gain their confidence and really sever a connection to move forward or something like that this could legit be someone quitting their job and becoming a business owner you feel what i'm saying because king of wands emperor king of swords someone could be making a decision to really become their own boss in their life in their love life in their friendships it does not matter the underlying energy here is sun ten of pentacles page of cups someone is looks like has a new commitment someone is following their inspirations and ready to invest into a relationship that could possibly be growing closer i feel like it's I feel like it's quick moving action okay ace of cups death magician i do feel like there's a new opportunity that transforms or you know kind of makes someone get into this magician emperor type of energy manifesting something new for self why is this king of wands here could i definitely be dealing with uh a leo because i saw that twice why is this king of wands here seven of swords here someone's in the space oh well wait a minute let me see someone's escaped yeah okay so four ones ten ones someone's escaping a household situation that may have been burdened i feel like someone may have been dealing with un an unstable relationship or unstable plans four ones plus six ones is ten ones so someone is laying the burdens down of this four ones and six ones choosing to move forward i feel like someone it was at a crossroads, feeling conflicted within their thoughts. Five of Swords here, yes, yeah, son. Someone was feeling conflicted in their thought in their thoughts about either a commitment here from a previous connection or a new commitment, because I see a new commitment here. But nine of wands, two of wands, someone is finding the strength to make a decision. I'm trying to tell you, somebody stepping into their power, baby. All right, so let's see here. I don't like that chamber. It smell. It's not bad. It's called rosewood vanilla. It's not bad. It's just it's not like a Glade plug-in. It's not what I'm used to my candle smelling like. I think I'm gonna burn that one in the front room or something and buy me another candle. <laughs> I really don't like the scents in here. Like when I'm with distracting. But maybe that means something to you guys because they made me say something about it. It's rosewood vanilla. 
What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Moon, Taurus? Okay. We got these for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, we have the past. So some of you guys could be having memories of the past. Nine could be overcoming memories of the past or could be overcoming past situations. You could be in the in-between about a situation. What messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What messages do we have? Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, we have divine wisdom and wise leadership. So Capricorn, I feel like you're using your own wisdom to take leadership in your life. So this could be about you because you are the first earth sign to pop up. What messages do we have for Virgo? Sun and Rising Venus moving forward. Messages for Virgo. Ooh. Messages for Virgo. Sun and Rising Venus. All right, Virgo, we have the sun. So I feel like there's going to be some clarity. Ooh, I do not like this. So some of you guys, I have a new beginning here, but it's in reverse. So I feel like for some of you guys, you do not have a new beginning. There's some liberation that's happening. Either you're liberating yourself from the past or there's a liberation to a current situation. It's not a new beginning, but maybe choosing to give new light with the sun. New creative spark. So there could be a spark within a connection. All right. So this is all I have, y'all. Peace.